I am so sorry that my audio screwed up in this video, but I promise it's only for a minimal amount of time. So bear with me. I just messed up. I don't even know if I should continue this video. Hey everyone, it's Ashley Now, Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, you probably seen my reaction to Ramstein's Zeit? Zeit. I don't know. Um, and I'm intrigued. I really only know the song Du Hast. It's pretty much the only song I know from Ramstein. Ramstein. Ramstein, right? Okay. And I, and somebody recommended to watch the live version of Du Hast in Paris. And I was like, yes, please. I have never seen a live show from this band in my life, but I know this song so well. I've known it since it came out. I love this song, but I never really got into this band. So let's watch this official video of them in Paris doing Du Hast. It's, I think it's going to be so nuts. So nuts. Okay, let's do it. like a DJ. That's so cool. Am I going to have to turn this up? Sing it. Oh. The song is so gangster. What is that guy doing up there, though? Voice sounds the exact same. Chills everywhere, you guys. This is sick. Like, how, like, simplistic is this song? But it's epic. Oh, 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 
what the hell? I'm pissed off now that my audio was doing that. Oh, that makes me so mad. So overall, that that's nuts. I don't know if this was like one show or like multiple shows in Paris where they kind of combined all of the video footage, but like the pyro and the lightning bolts when that guy played the keyboard, that was, I love the visual effects. I think they were amazing. I love that they got the crowd to participate in singing you know, the chorus, I, the lead singer sounds the exact same. He sounds even better actually live. He's also a big man, a little terrifying, but like good for him for being healthy. <laughs> um, the treadmill, I'm so confused why that guy was on a treadmill, that whole song just going, dee -dee 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 -dee. I, you know, I never thought about that piano part as being funny, but now it's hilarious. I am never gonna take this song seriously again. I don't understand. You guys have ruined Du Host for me. All right, I'm just gonna go to the English translations. I always thought Du Host was about them saying you, you hate, you hate me. But now I'm seeing translations that say you have me. So this, Translation says, you, you have me, you have me, you asked me, you asked me, you asked me, and I said nothing. Do you want until death separates you to be faithful to her for all days? Yes, no, yes, no. Do you want until death, which would separate to love her even in bad days? Yes, no, yes, no. You, you have me. What is this, a wedding song? Isn't that interesting? Why did I always think it was you? You hate, you hate me. <laughs> It took that long for me to figure out the English translation. Okay, so I'm on Reddit and some guy said, the translation is a little bit more complicated than that. He worked as a German English translator for years and more embarrassingly, he listened to Rammstein a lot as a teenager. I'm not sure why that's embarrassing. The song itself is a bit of a pun because especially in the overblown accent that Rammstein sings in, du hast sounds like du hast. You're right that the lyrics written are haste but Rammstein recorded German and English versions of the song on the same CD. So the English is you, you hate, you hate me, you hate me to say, you hate me to say, and I did not obey. A German speaker will note that the English version is a very loose translation to make the rhyme work. It really does lose some meaning in the translation where you get a better feeling of what the story is being told when you know about the double meaning. It's still not exactly Shakespeare, but it felt cool to know about it back in the day. Uh, this one guy said that Rammstein themselves are anti-Nazi. They perform in an over-the-top style that generally parodi parodies Hitler's speaking style. I think the closest parallel in English would be where Andy claimed he would prove which gender was better by wrestling women than saying he would marry any woman who could beat him. I don't think I needed to read that. Um, <laughs> overall, I'm going to go with it's still you hate, you hate me, because if I was wrong this whole time, that would have been so embarrassing. I still love this song. I just will never be able to take that piano part seriously ever again. Someone explain to me why he's on a treadmill. Explain to me why. Just why. It doesn't make any sense. And I would love to know who the hell is in this band. I don't know. Like, I'm oblivious to who is in the band besides the person who sings. I didn't know there were so many people on stage. Like, I'm excited to learn more. So if you have a song you want me to see, uh, let me know. I love live performances. I love listening to audio. I'm not a big music video fan, but I'm told that Rammstein videos are very amazing and great and wonderful and just visually like movies. So I'm down to watch them if you guys think I should. And yeah, I'm I'm here to do more Rammstein. Let me introduce you to a Canadian band. They're called Alexis on Fire. This is their album called Crisis. Let me move Aurora over here. This album is phenomenal. I love Alexis on Fire. I've always been a big fan. This is their poster from their farewell tour. Uh, they're still a band. Uh, thank God, because that was the most depressing night of my life when I thought that was going to be the last show I've ever seen them at. But I love this album so much. There is not a bad song on here, people. My favorite, oof, I don't know. It would either be This Could Be Anywhere in the World or Rough Hands. Yeah, those are my two top 
So check out Alexa on Fire. Go give them some love. If you like a song, you know, go follow them on Instagram and TikTok and all those stupid places that help bands get noticed and recognized and help their algorithm. Uh, They don't need help. They're doing great. But if I can make a fan out of you, that makes me very happy because sharing music is a form of love, people. Have an awesome day. Sorry about the audio. I will see you in my next video.